Okay, so the slash is off. We need it to be off because we're going to change the transmission and gearbox oil and hydraulic oil, I meant to say. And with the slash out away, we've got a bit of room to move. So, can you see a big red bolt? The instruction book tells me that's one of the drain plugs, so there may be two. But the drawbar's in the way. This bad boy here. If I don't take that off, the oil's just going to go straight onto it. So, as always, you want to do something, and there's another thing in the way. So, let's get to that. So, this drawbar is a big, solid piece of metal. It looks like it can uh, take on quite a bit of work. I had a look underneath. It's not bolted underneath in any way. It's... Uh, Yeah, it's just one solid piece. If you can see the pointer, it appears to be bolted in to the back of the transmission. One, two. Three, four bolts on there. That, it says on it, US eight point 8.8 .8. we'll see what that really means and what it equates to in millimeters and uh, you'll just see me removing that in in the fast forward configuration so 24 mil is the socket I can find that fits let's see how it goes because there's not a lot of swinging space in here don't know how we're gonna it might be on ultra tight. Let's see how we go. I hope you can see that. This PDO guard's probably in the way. <coughs> Okay, now we put the bolts back in so we don't lose them. And we want the holes closed so <coughs> no dirt goes in there. So there's another one there. And on this side, there you go, that one, my apologies, that one, and that one. So I'm not going to show you that, four bolts going in, big deal, whoopee doo. So here's the drawbar, it's a big bulky thing, look I'm struggling to get it up there. And as you saw it was in the way where the drain plug is. So I'll go and have a look at the instruction manual which is very well put together I've got to say. And it says in there, oh, when you're not using the draw bar just take it off and put it somewhere safe and clean. Why was it on there in the first place? That's all right, I understand all that. So I'm not putting this back on because I've got the slasher permanently connected. And uh, there's no point of that being there, uh, catching on things, catching mud and dirt and grime, etc. So I'll just clean him up and put him away. 
So not only is there a drain plug there, but there's two more underneath. Let's go for a look. Bloody hell. Right. There's one there. I'm thinking that's the base of the hydraulic pump. Not quite sure. And can you see there's a just hang on a minute. Got a red plug there. Where am I going? Sorry guys. You can see there's a red plug there. But it won't come out because there's a bloody steel pipe there with red on it. So what's the point of that? Either I'm not very bright, or well, that's a design flaw, but nevertheless, if we use the two plugs I've just shown you towards the back of the tractor. And the tractor's on a sufficient lean, all that oil will come out together. Because the oil in the gearbox is also the oil used in the rear diff and <coughs> the uh, hydraulic pump, all the one. A, a short time later is an understatement. What you just saw was filmed six months ago. That shows you how much I get sidetracked. The wet season arrived. The slasher went back on the tractor. One thing led to another. And here we are in June doing what I set out to do in December. All right, if you're wondering where I am, I'm standing on the rear link arms. You can hear it dancing around. So the book says that that fill point also has a dipstick in it. It's squared off, so I see a 17mm fix that. Let's see how we go. There you go, how loose was that? Let's see what's in here. There you go. They're right. I've got my glasses on and I'm trying to read that. It looks full, which I hope. So we'll just leave that like that now and we'll head underneath. It's blowing a gale here. I don't know if you can hear it anyway. 24 mil socket. Let's see how we go. Oh, this will need a bit more persuading. All right, that wasn't too bad. It just took a bit of a knock there. So I've got the pan here and another couple because the book says 20 litres of oil. Alright, here we go. Alright, I've <clears throat> got the reinforcements lined up here. Let's see if we don't make too much of a mess. a copper washer on this. If you can hear me above the wind I said there is a copper washer on this. And here we go. Nope. Look at that oil. It's still bloody clean after a hundred hours. Well nah, it's magnetic. Alright. Good. Put in there and get the other pans ready. There are other drain plugs underneath. I'll get to them later. Let's just get all this oil off. Check it out. Looks like black tea. 
Texas Gold. There you go, still going. This big pan's a good one, it's got one of those built-in spouts so you can get rid of all the old oil without making much of a mess. I think these three pans will catch it all. That one's a bit bigger. That one's already full. And as you can see, we're going to a bit of a trickle here now. But look at that wind catching it. I'll show you the bolt and washer. You can see all this sludge that it's caught on the bottom. Remember, I bought the tractor from you. So, you know, that's just part of the manufacturing process. But, you know, the washer looks all right. We'll give it all a bit of a clean up. Let's get rid of that gunk. Thing. Better than the other ones, I can do this all day. Poor white die. I don't know if you saw what happened when this drain plug popped out. Look, I lead a very, I live a very humour driven life, but rule number one is you, you've got to be able to laugh at yourself. And I don't know if you saw what happened, I had a good chuckle off camera. When I was unscrewing this, when it got to the point where the oil started to come out, you would have seen a tidal wave of it just going over my hand and I'm still unscrewing and I can't work out what's going on. This sucker, as I said, is heavily magnetised. There's probably a better explanation than that, but that's the only word I know. And it just slyly veered to the right and it was still stuck in a transfer case, sorry the back diff and I think I'm unscrewing and I'm going why is the oil coming all over my hand but um, it was good, it, did, it saved this falling into the drink which is a good thing but I think the, uh, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I think the real aim of it being magnetised is I've cleaned it now but it was all these little iron filings in there as I said after the manufacturing process of the tractor um, they say that stuff like that happens so better for it to be stuck around the base of that than floating through the system alright so that's why I was struggling in the middle of Niagara Falls so what I want to deal with now is this drain plug all right, it's a separate item here under the diff. Does it take the same oil? I don't know. I'll have a look in the book and try and explain it later. But if it's red, it's for us to maintain 24 mil again. So it's the same as the drain plug we just used. Right, good, it was only tight a little bit at the start. Let's see what happens this time. Am I going to get sprayed with oil? Watch and shoot. Looks the same colour as the other one. As I said, I'll find out what that one's all about. Same deal again, magnetised sump plug, all the gunk on it. Alright, I'm surmising that connects to the whole reservoir of oil we've been getting rid of. Okay, very good. Now this one's worse. Have a look at the gunk on this one. Remember I was talking about 
iron, iron filings on the top. Let's get it to focus a bit better. Have a look at that stuff on top there. So, just goes to show what's floating around in a new engine, which is not a bad thing, they're all like that, but that's the purpose of this, to catch all that. Very good. Okay everybody, that's the end of this video. That's part one complete. If you thought that was simple and straightforward, well you'd be right but there is some more to do. Uh, in part two, which will follow, I've got to take out a steel strainer, like a filter, and that's part of the hydraulic oil um, system. So I want to see where that is and get on top of that and make sure it's clean so everything functions well. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. No, I'm born to lose and gambling's for fools But that's the way I like it, baby I don't want to live forever You better not be on, you sneaky camera